Paris is a city where whatever sweet spot you got, there's something close by to hit it. In this video, we're going to head you up on four things not to miss in our five favorite categories. Fashion, nightlife, books, food, and art. Strap in. Paris is fashion. Whether it's haute couture, chic casual, or no filter, no regrets. In this city, it's understood that if you got it, well... So come on, let's help you get it. The Marais is a honeycomb of independent fashion retail. Any self-respecting shopper knows to head here first. Our tip for a starting point, the broken arm. This upscale boutique offers a curated selection of clothing, as well as records, furniture, and books. To go from David to Goliath, next up is the legendary Galleries Lafayette. The biggest department store chain in Europe, Lafayette is stuffed with more big name labels than a Met Gala photo call. <laughs> but don't worry, there's great finds for smaller budgets too. Galleries Lafayette has three locations, and our favorite is the flagship store on Boulevard Osman, which puts on fashion shows every Friday. Check out our free PDF for more info on how to attend. To combine retail with your love of architecture, check out any of Paris's historical covered passages, aka galleries or arcades. You'll find boutique stores, bistros, and curated wine cellars. There are over 20 passages around the city, and our favorite is the Gallery Vivienne in the second. It's been a historical monument for almost 50 years. The way of the fashionista needn't be so indoorsy. Think of this historical street as the Champs-Élysées' little sister. More chill, shy sometimes, but just as cool. Running parallel to the Champs-Élysées, Saint-Honoré gets narrow in places and has a long stroll overall. But it's worth it. And then some. For the designer stores ranged along it. To name just a few, there's Dominique Sirop, Chanel, Pierre Cardin, as well as the flagship stores of Lanvin and Hermès. Who doesn't love the night? Okay, plants probably, but for the rest of us, sundown is the beginning of all kinds of wonderful. If you agree, here are four things in Paris not to miss. This neighborhood in the 9th and 19th is renowned for its anything goes energy. For a start, it's home to the historical cabaret Moulin Rouge, but also this adorkable train. It's an area of contrast, with sex shops and old-timey passageways, and neon signs that maybe aren't about cats. Start your night at La Fourmi Cafe. It's great for meeting up before crawling the bars in the neighborhood. Hot music venues La Boule Noire and La Segale are close by, as is the Trianon and more. Not sure if I pronounced any of those correctly, but it's okay, it's all in our free PDF. Rock music fans should head to this Bastille live venue. It's small and intimate and hosts up and coming rock talent from around the globe. The edgy Villette neighborhood in the 19th is a few blocks east of Canal Saint Martin. Stop by La Guerre, a gathering spot that offers various forms of refuge and entertainment throughout the day and night. Its name is a nod to its history as a train station. It's no surprise that they make great drinks, but for me, it's all about the atmosphere. All combines into one of the coolest bar experiences ever. Ah, books. One of the few pleasures left in the world we don't need batteries for. Here are four things for book lovers in Paris. Chances are good you'll find your next read here in Paris. For a unique book buying experience, try the Bouquiniste by the Seine. These secondhand book stands on the riverside sidewalks have been there since the 16th century. The French are fierce champions of independent bookstores. For books in French and a few in English, head to the Boulinaire en Bonne Nouvelle. For English language books, we love the Abbey Bookshop, a Canadian owned store in the Latin Quarter. Finally, be sure to stop by the historical city of Paris Library. Some of the locations are architectural gems. Not only can you hang out in them, you can also become a member and borrow books. French citizenship or residency not required. Into poetry? 
Then there's performance and learning spaces for you. It's just around the corner from the Pompidou Center and puts on regular performances and social events. This neoclassical megastructure is unmissable for the architecture alone. The bonus for bookworms, Voltaire, Rousseau, Victor Hugo are among those interred here. If dead French writers don't do it for you, how about dead American ones? This bar in the back of the Ritz Hotel on the Place Vendôme is named after Ernest Hemingway. He spent a lot of time here and who wouldn't? Ah, food. Permission to love ourselves three times a day. If that's you all over, here are four things in Paris to prioritize. First, let's get you caffeinated. We're a big fan of Parisian coffee roasters, Belleville Brulerie. The roastery offers coffee tasting sessions every Saturday. Check out our PDF for more info. The roastery offers limited seating, so to enjoy their coffee with your butt in a chair, you'll need to visit one of their local cafes they supply. We recommend 10 Bells. Okay, now let's get to the food. Hands down, our favorite foodie destination is the Ground Control Food Hall. It's about a 10 minute walk from Gare de Lyon. Ground Control is a major tom, uh, I mean, uh, major tummy buster. It's an enormous, eclectic food hall with an incredible, vibrant atmosphere. To combine chowing down with a good cause, try La Residence. This food stand offers dishes made by refugees to France, with African food particularly well represented. Done eating? Now check out this video arcade area, this bookstore, and art gallery. Oh yeah, and this train set. All in all, hang out at Ground Control for a great afternoon out with your family, your pals, your whoever. But come insatiable. Maybe you prefer to cook for yourself and your priority is getting the finest, freshest produce. You should hit up the Bastille Market, one of Paris's biggest street markets. You'll find more than a hundred stalls of artisanal French produce, with the Bastille's Colonne de Juillet looming overhead. The market's held Thursdays and Sundays, 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Still got room for treats? Let's face it, you don't, but you're going to anyway. Finish your foodie rampage at Strahur, the oldest patisserie in Paris, dating back to 1730. Their pastries are melt-in-the-mouth marvelous. Do you make art or revere it? Here are four things you shouldn't leave Paris without seeing. Frank Gehry designed this stunning building situated in the Bois de Bologna Park. Does it resemble a medieval warship? Maybe a pile of giant oysters? Anyway, it's fun to ponder. Meanwhile, the gallery inside is often ranked as one of Paris's most impressive, exhibiting the biggest names in contemporary art. This photography museum in the Marais may be a lot smaller than the LVF, but it punches above its weight. Photography masters and newcomers get equal attention here. This recommendation's a twofer, as these museums are next door to each other with winningly contrasting vibes. Go to the Modern Art Museum for the avant-gardistes. The Palais de Tokyo, meanwhile, is your go-to place for contemporary installations and video art. After your visit, hang out in the forecourt, off whose neoclassical decor, kids lol, skateboarders ole, and house music booms. So very Parisian. Finally, the Père Lachaise Cemetery is among the most famous burial grounds in France. Writers and artists are well represented in its soil. Entrance is free and so is the grave map. Among the big names, Oscar Wilde, Edith Piaf, Marcel Proust, and Jim Morrison. Honestly though, you won't need a map to understand why so many Parisians head here for calm and reflection. Whatever art means to you, you're likely to find inspiration here. We recommend arriving late afternoon or early evening and exploring the grounds in the day's final light. We hope that this guide to the things that 99% of Parisian tourists miss was helpful to you. 
If so, please subscribe for more content focused on unique hotels and insider travel. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video. Thank you.